Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. We are about to get into Oberon's estate over here and try to retrieve three magical items. So apparently we can go in with the whole party, and as long as everyone is unarmed, we should be able to convince people that it is fine for us to be in here. Nature there we go. So everyone is currently unarmed. Oh, I do technically have a weapon in my offhand. I don't know if that's a problem. Just in case, I'm going to go and de-equip it. Okay. Let's pop inside. It's locked. Is there another way in? Interesting. What is it this time? It shall be as you wish. My as you will. Maybe it's the date, the time of day. What time is it? It's 9 a.m. Hello. I mean, the assistant with. Um, I beg your pardon, but I've come regarding the servile position. Okay, apparently this is the sort of path we take. This should know, yes, we're indeed looking for a servant to help clean. It is ever so large an estate, and she does tend to get away on you if you're not careful. Have you any experience with such an expansive building? <laughs> My grandma's house be worth a copper or two, but not as expansive as this year' place. Did I do serve the past year at the palace? Not as such, but I only ask to be given the chance to prove myself. Uh, there. I would have wished someone to touch more credentials, but I'm a run right ragged without help. You're hired, but watch your stealth. We've got important guests at the moment. You'd best stay in the background. Clean the rooms in the east wing and leave the west for me. Okay. Yes. So what else we got? So here's the east, presumably. I'm not going to go... Well, I think I can at least peek here and not take anything. F it. Does anyone have line of sight on me here? I'm not sure. Let's just take stuff. Yay! It worked. Another servant. And a cook. Okay, well, let's go upstairs. Yeah! Mm-hmm. How may I be? You have but to ask. Hello, sir. I'm just here to clean. Should I talk to him? Let's talk to him. Away with you, Becca. All right. Sorry, I'm just. What? No, I'm here to. I'm dusting. That's seriously. What kind of bullshit is that? Hang on. Um. Uh, no, I'm reloading. I'm just dusting the shells. That's not thieving. What the hell is? I don't like that. This. There's no indication that this is different. I'm dusting! Alright, well, there's no one in here. Okay, just books. I'm gonna ignore them. Oh, wow. Also reminds me, I still need to identify a couple of these things. Just My dusting. Honor. Yeah! And the hall. You've gone rather far afield, haven't you, server? Serve it. Well, no matter. Anyone to alleviate the boredom is appreciated, even if they're a lower class. Oh, these must be the daughters. Try to be more amiable, Helshara. This week's end will not come soon enough. I tire standing about playing Watchmen. Many a magical study awaits while I waste time guarding a rock. Helshara, Dada, Daddy would not trouble us with this if it were not important. Your rock is an artifact fragment vital to construction an airship, a skyship, no less than my statuette and Delor Delorna's spellbook. Uh huh. Fragment or no, here I sit guarding a pebble while the world goes on without me. I don't know how you and she can stand it. Lorna is content to sit in contemplation whether entrusted the book or not, and I simply know that her father would not have me here without reason. If Mira, you should know by now a father is a few sparks shy of a fireball. Skyship or rowboat, if he made it, I wouldn't trust it to hold air, let alone float on it. I did not offer the ca to captain the final product, just to guard the components. You know, sister, I think we have been duped. I do not believe I recognize this supposed servant. Send a warning. It's as father predicted, a thief in his arm missed. Um... I am a servant here, just hired. I mean no harm. My apologies for disturbing you. I shall leave. You're no servant. You're either assassins or thieves. Matters not which you will die regardless. Okay, well, I don't know if I was supposed to maybe be walking around in stealth mode, but I wonder if I could have gotten here in viz and if that would have just worked. Just re-equip. 
Reequip and reequip. Some people have three weapon slots, Hell some do not. There you go, you got your sword selected. Right? Um. Yeah, the bastard sword plus yeah. one, that's correct. Uh, oh, I did... Did I not have... I didn't have anything in there. No, that's fine. Okay, you got your katana selected. We're going to give you the blade. Melee ranging these wizards should be pretty easy. No, but it might be a little crowded, so let's do that. Is That's Nira. So it's Helshara over here and Ithmir over there. Okay, select everyone. Beat the crap out of that one. Um, you magic missile the one in the back, and we're going to try to keep them disturbed. Or Yeah. Interrupted is sort of the word I'm looking for. Oh my god, yeah, they have no hit points. Give me strength. Deselect you. Wow. Yeah, that's um pretty effective. Who are you? Random other servant. Garnet gem. Oh, enemy spotted. Who? Where? Oh, right over here. Yeah, I should have run here right away, actually, because now I'm a little concerned. That she's going to be able to get some spells off and murder the lot of us. This could actually be really, really bad. Near, get out of the doorway. Before it reflects back. There we go. And you go this way before it comes back again. God damn lightning bolt. Very dangerous to cast yourself as well. Okay, now that we're in range, we should just be able to keep her from casting any more hyper dangerous spells. Did you magic missile? Oh! They're invisible! Um, do I have an invisibility purge? I, I got rid of that on my, um, on my personal character. No, I don't. There's a dispel magic. I could try that. Oh! Looks like it was unnecessary. Okay, money, potion, mage robe, magic necklace. Duty to one's cause with Helm's blessing. Well, I should be going around getting some heals off. Now, I hope I'm not going to get in trouble for. How may I be of assistance? For killing these people. They started it. Maybe I did the wrong thing. I don't know. Maybe I can still get through most of this without killing everyone. Keep healing. So I'll use the big heal on Minsk. A little heal over there. Another little heal. And one more over there. Although, maybe I should heal myself. Right, okay, no, I did get healed, so that's good. Because if I die, we can't, you know, we can't res me. That's not an option. Helshar's Artifact Fragment. Excellent. Oh yeah, your inventory is full. What is this? That's the statuette. And that's the spell book. So those are the three items that I needed. Yeah, I wonder if I could have gotten through there. Well, still, they got they had some loot, so... Tough for them. Uh, did I check these bookshelves? No. It's probably got scrolls on it. Yeah, just generic books. And there, too. So... I mean, I don't know how we pass the servants anyway with all these these this weaponry here. If I go and de-equip my gear, I wonder. Like, can I just hack my way in there? What's the problem if I decide? To just kill everyone at this point. Oh, there's a ring. You rang? All right, let's go and just kill everyone. Yeah. As you will. Oh, nothing. Oh, so I could have re-equipped things right away. Okay, well, I mean, I'm not going to start the fight. As you will. I'll, I'll finish them, but I won't start them. Yeah. Okay, back to the Thieves Guild for us.
Well, it took like four episodes, but we finally finished that damn thief quest. Jesus. As you will. Mm-hmm. Then we have to go and free a nymph. So it sounds like if I if I grab the nymph and just transfer it to the other wizard, then I'll get some magic item. If I just free the nymph, then I'm just a good person. Well, we're gonna go for the freeing because I don't I don't like the idea of this thing being like captured and enslaved for whatever nefarious purposes these lonely wizard neckbeards have in mind. Yeah. This is very inconvenient to come down here all the time. There we go. Yeah. That wasn't too bad. Okay, oh, and we're in here, that's right. And talk to Ravenscar. Hello, we have your stuff. Fine, if run hewn performance, of course, while I may not mourn the loss of those you killed, the guard is certainly irate. This is my Helruian contact, Rezar. I believe he would like a word with you about the unnecessary attention you brought to his cause. Well, I... I wonder if I could have just gone up there stealth and not killed anyone. Yeah, but we got loot. I don't know. Recovery of our secret is most welcome, but the scrutiny your actions bring will do much damage. I must erase all knowledge of this plan by removing all expendable people. This unfortunately means you. Apologies, but you must die. We got 4,000 XP, and the three items went away. Oh well. So I guess we're fighting now. Not, th not this night, you gum and dead man. Or maybe we're not fighting. Narlin, by what, the, by all the gods, what are you doing? Uh, Tia put the same query, you traitorous fool. You set up one of your own. Explain yourself, let's say you take an earth bath by next morn. You hired them to do your dirty deed because they were expendable, but, that, but they be as good a sneak as any we be. A brethren in burglary who should die because they know in the guild? Nay, say I, and many more. The stump down our halls, they work the work, and they flee the flea. They with us, and you set us up. Okay, so because I completed the thieving missions for Narlin, he insta won the fight for us. Hopefully he hasn't denied us any experience points. wonder what's going to happen now. We're going to fight Ravenscar? Seems to make quite an impression on the guild. Uh, seem that I aired aligning with Rezar, blasted politics, addled the brain, and time and again, I should stay out. Still, we're, we've his coin, and the story of his demise is ours to construct. Never a total loss to be had. You have earned a place in the guild, a tie that never breaks. Here's the respect you ran from the guard for. Around the world, around the world, way to get it to be sure, but it's worth it nonetheless. The doors here will always be open, excepting when it's probably locked. I wonder if I would have had to fight both of them or one after the other. Curious. How may I be of assistance? Magic, 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 non-magic. I think. Oh, I do have this wand of paralyzation. Don't. Want, oh yeah, I do already have one. And. We don't know what that is. It's pr I think that's like the electrical resistance one. I don't know. Maybe it's another evil Archmage one, but I don't think so. Because, yeah, we have some more stuff I can toss over here. Okay, we can toss the scrolls down here to make room. Fire shield. Oh, right, magic. Learn the spells. Uh, we do have a lot of Identify Scrolls, but I'm in town. I'm mostly saving them around for when um, we are... There we go. Electrical Resistance. When we're in a dungeon and I want to be able to identify more stuff and I've run out of my normal castings. So that goes there. We've got... A necklace is very interesting. I, I gotta get rid of these little scrolls. I don't think I need them for any reason. I should just pitch them on the ground. They're the notes that I found in the... Um, uh in the mines at Nashkel. Baldur's Gate does not seem to be the sort of game where you have to keep those items around. Um, all right, I think what we do is we find an inn so we can rest and ID some more stuff. There's rogues all over. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's get out. Tell you, after playing some Pillars of Eternity, coming back to the pathfinding here is a little bit rough. Tavern and inn. All right, let's pop over there right away, because we did burn through our entire healing spell component. It's not just our um, our identifies that we are out of. Is there another sewer grate there? There is. Oh, I can't enter that one though. So yeah, there's one uh, right back here. We will have to do a full exploration of the sewers at some point. Maybe that's what we'll do next. Oh no, we have to depoison ourselves. We have ten days before we die from poison. Yeah, that's going to be the next thing. 
You want some whiskey? Mm-hmm. I also have to sell some stuff. What are you, necklace? The one gift lost. Necklace of missiles. One gift lost is the naming of the necklace originates from its only owner, uh, Akeda Mornive, who quested to regain his kidnapped daughter. Not many would help the determined father, but a kind and generous mage bestowed this item on him to aid his cause. Last the necklace was lost when Akeda dropped it in the Immerflow River while fending off bandits under upon a suspension bridge. Fortunately, it's rumored, rumored that the item was not needed to reunite the family once again. So, oh, it's a necklace of fireballs, basically. Do you have to actually equip it, or you just put it in an inventory slot? I don't know, you do put it there. But then how do you use it? Man is the least grateful of nature's children. Oak, father, please forgive your wayward brood. I am angry. Don't talk to me now. Oh, there we go. So, nature is all. now we've got... Ten fireballs. That's if I remember to use it, because it's in an odd slot. But if I do, it'll be quite nice. Um, identify this thing. Adventurer's robe. Okay, plus one AC one. Traveler's robe. Oh wait, adventurer's robe is plus one AC versus crush and save versus petrification polymorph. Plus one AC versus missile, which is a hell of a lot better. Fire resist. And then I still don't know what that is. I'm not going to use a scroll to identify it. My honor. Oh, and this guy doesn't vendor. Let's check upstairs, see if there's anything about. I'm expecting, since it's not a named place. No. Can we sell some stuff to you, though? No. Just rumors and more tables. Alright. So it's like they sort of half-assed some of these inns. But I guess they wanted lots of inns in the city, and they're like, well, they don't all have to have quest stuff. Yeah. Just a, an easy and convenient place for people to rest nearby. Which I guess is pretty fair. Can't complain about that. See, this has got the Elfson Tavern and another inn over here. So maybe it is just placeholder stuff. I'm not sure. Okay. We... Merrick. No. Yes. <clears throat> I can find her at the Water Queen's house. They call the Temp Temple of Umberly. I am assuming... Uh, so we have to get to a map edge. I mean, I probably could have gone out the gate, too. Because all I have to do Give is find a place where I can do the little... Oh, I changed my uh, my layout here. I just got to find a map edge so I can start doing a travel. I'm assuming it's somewhere in one of the southern bits. But I guess any of them might do. Mm -hmm. So we'll just peek around a boot. Just a boot. So, shop, blade and stars, right... All right, so it's not here. As you will. Check the middle bit. Warehouse, warehouse. Japulin's Tavern, Harbor Master, Iron Throne Headquarters, Water Queen's House. There we go. Yeah. Which the door is over there. So, oh, this is the temple. Water Queen's House is a temple to the goddess of the sea, or some damn thing like that. How's my inventory? Is it too full? No, we're okay right now. Okay. So some stuff starts to go down. And we have to loot some bodies, we're going to be okay. <laughs> These boots of speed! Oh, it'd be nice if you could maybe, like, say, Hey, in this case, it would be nice if um, the party stuck together. So maybe don't outrun them too badly, because you're just going to get in trouble. Hmm. I should probably have cheated to give her one boots of speed. I don't think it would have affected combat that much. It would have just been really damn handy. It is an advantage for melee characters. For ranged people, it doesn't matter so much, because mostly they just stay far away and plunk on arrows. This would let you run away from enemies a bit more. <laughs> Still wondering if I lost some XP by not killing um, that wizard myself. But it was kind of neat to have the backstab, and certainly someone vouching for me in the Thieves' Guild. The storm shall take those who are unfaithful. Priestess of Umberlee, for what purpose do you visit the Bitch Queen? That's right, the Bitch Queen. Because I think she's like Beast Goddess and other things, I'm not sure. Um, let's see what a temple to an evil goddess looks like inside. Uh, from Katwermir, Tormus, you know. Um, pay her respects to the Queen of Deeps. Oh, we wish to speak with the High Priestess. High Priestess does not have time to see commoners. Um, would a donation of 50 gold allow us to entry? Uh, for his adequate weight here, I'll return. The Bitch Queen... Brooks no insolence. Is that you? Are you running away? Are we having pathfinding issues? Yeah. Oh, there we go. 
I have a Jalanta Mist Mirror. What reason do you have to see me? Um, if neither your powers, the companion of ours is cursed with the gayest spell. We humbly ask that you remove it. I do not offer the power of goddess to anyone. If you wish this favor, you will have first have to do a favor for Umberly. Favor asks you a simple one. The holy day of storm call of storm call approaches. It will be the first time I have overseen the ceremony. To ensure that my first ceremony is flawless, I need an item of power. It's called the Book of Wisdom. It's possessed by the clergy of Tamora at the Temple of Tamora, called the Ladies' Hall by those who venerate the frivolous goddess. If you can get this book for me, I will do what you ask. What is your decision? Hang on. Is this a plus one stat book? In which case, A, I'm excited to find out about another one. We'd never give this away. I mean, wisdom is not an important um, trait for my character class. There's got to be something. I don't know. Um, all right, looks like we have no other choice. We're in. Don't care how you get the book. Once you once you have it, come to the temple and meet with me. Right. Duty to one's Maybe it's not a stat book. Because the problem is, if it is a stat book, I'm not going to want to give it away, which means I'm just going to die. Um, from the poison. It looked like she popped out of here, like there's a secret. I don't know. We're going to snoop around just a little bit here before we leave. Although, actually, that looks like the extent of our snooping. Where do we come in? Right over here. Okay. Um, nice pathfinding there, bro. With Helm's Temple of Tamora is where? Ladies' Hall. I don't think we spotted that yet. Certainly not on this map. God, this... You run around the city like crazy. It's such a different change of pace from, you know, just enter map, clear map, enter map, clear map from before. I mean, I guess we could sort of clear one area at a time, but... Well, let's see what's in this section. We haven't visited it yet. As you will. Snoopy boot. More sewers. You know, we still have to do the sewers. Uh, we don't need to do that, because we have actually uncovered all the map bits at this point. Yeah, I'm not going to bother checking these things. I mean, we did find that one magic item, but what are the odds that there's more of that? Uh, oh, we can go back here, okay. Oh, don't enter the sewers, because apparently if we enter, we will exit somewhere completely random. So what is this? Oh, this is the Flaming Fist office, which actually we do need to visit. And TX. TX! I know TX from something. Do I know you from Baldur's Gate 2 as well? Did we meet you earlier? Are you not like an evil crazy dwarf? I might be thinking of a different character. I'm probably thinking of a completely different character. Let's group our party up. And talk to TX. We might want to enter the Flaming Fist headquarters, because apparently they're good bros. Ah, yes! Priest of Cyric. Glora Cyric, or Cyric. I think Cyric? I don't know. No, with an Y like that? Cyric. Anyway. As for told of our meeting, when thou wouldst join with me. Tis thy duty, nay, thy destiny, to stand by TX as the world kneels before him. Or us. To this end, I would travel with thee and do thy bidding. Later, however, your power shall add to mine, and great task will ascend to the highest office in the land. What do you say? The A or nay to the grand scheme. So A, he's evil. B, he's batshit crazy. He is a hell of a lot of fun, but there's no way he's going to stick with our party because we have too good of a reputation. Um, <laughs> you should A, B, in return. I help you dominate the planet. Okay, let me just know when uh, you're going to ascend. Um... Makes you think you're going to rule everything. That's a pretty big job for such a diminutive fellow. Let's go and troll him here and try to aggro him. Have you no ears to hear? It's a TX said, Destiny. Sarek himself will lift TX on high, hurling me to my rightful place when the time comes. You shall be as ants before my grace, though slightly larger ants than Norm if you help me. I, I, I got to play it through an evil. I've done um, sort of an evil run of Baldur's Gate 2, but I've never really done Baldur's Gate 1 evil, and these party members would just be such a thrill. Um, so whole belief center centers around some celestial midget toss. Count me out. Not a member of the Up With Dwarves League, you know? What fate decrees the world to thine hands, and you flout her as a common wench? Are you cupshot? Mutton-headed fool, you and your natty lads will be fallen away from a horse load to a cart load while TX puts the world to bed with a shovel. Twill be a squeak for your life when you duke of limbs stir your stumps and be gone. Evil will always uh, all right. Against courage. 
Yeah, you know what? Let's go into the Flaming Fist. I serve the Flaming Fist. Most of them are giant asshats, but apparently there's a couple of people that might be worth talking to. Scar being one of them. Yeah, I am a man of my Let's see your return. What news did you bring me? Um, I haven't found anything yet, but we want to keep searching. Okay. I guess I could have taken the other option, too. What do you need? Hmm. Dylos. Um, here to see Scar. So I was expecting he's either just down the hall or outside the entrance. I've been waiting to talk to you. So we got a trap door to go downstairs. Interesting. As you will. Any other secrets down here? No, just loot and probably guarded. So we're not going to try to loot that stuff. With Helm's blessing. Can I not go through there? Apparently not. Who's Fergus? Hello, Fergus. Mm -hmm. Gotta admit, I ain't been never been happier. Got a letter from my lady, and she's gonna be home real soon. Just gotta find a pretty little ring for a pretty little finger. It's gonna be all, and it's all gonna be just fine, just fine. But my lady, she transcends gold or silver or fancy stones. She'll have nothing less than an angel skin ring from me. Have we found plenty of those? They're not even worth that much. Okay, generic prisoners. This way, good sir. Over here. Who's calling me? It's not Fergus. We just talked to him. Didn't we? Yeah, yeah. Can I really not go through here? I'm guessing the door opens later as, like, a plot development. Okay. So, nothing to do here right now, but at least we know that. And also, we'll try to be on the lookout for an angel skin ring. I mean, we don't... Presumably, we, we don't have one. No. Evil must be so, I'll try not to sell one if we run into one. As you will. Okay, we got the crazy ass Tiak over there. Hilarious, but crazy. You must gather your party before venturing I'm not forth. venturing forth. What are you talking about? So we're looking for the Temple of Tomorrow right now. I don't know if it's in this zone. We got another couple to check. For all I know, I've already seen it. Merchant League Estate. Okay, that's not the only one. Uh, you have a name. And you have a sword and armor. Let's make sure our group is a little closer together before we talk to you. you there. Yourself. So pleasant to see your faces again. Don't you recognize me? It's me, Eldath Sashentar. I'm so glad to have met you, especially at a time like this. I need to speak with you privately. Will you listen to what I say? I don't remember you. No, but all right, of course I will listen. Uh, this should suffice for privacy. I'm sorry for all the hiding and skulking. There are dire events afoot. You know that I am one of the principal shareholders of Merchant League. Well, I share ownership with the company of two others. Ilan Tree and Zoromir are two very distinguished gentlemen. When I returned from my hunting trip, thanks to you... Oh, right! Right! Oh, he was the one we saved from the Druids! Um... Thanks to you, I might add, I found that my two partners had undergone some profound changes. Nothing physical or overt, but something far more sinister. Right, I'm, I'm starting to get the sense... I think there's doppelgangers involved in town. Um... Alright, what's so sinister? So this is when my partners become wholly different people. While I was gone, they almost take an active interest in squandering company's resources on frivolous and stupid ideas. If they continue on this course, company will be in shambles in all in but a few weeks. Uh, I know you've already helped me once, but I ask for assistance again. Um, sure, what do you want us to do? I'm in the Merchant League estate with me, and I'll explain that you are old friends of mine, and will quarter all you in the guest chambers. From there, please investigate my partners, perhaps using magic or any of the skills possessed. Learn as much as you can during your visit, then report back to me after I'm done. Should only take a couple of days. Well, we're currently poisoned to death, but... Sure. Just follow me inside. You may begin the investigation as soon as you get inside. I should be waiting for any reports of your progress on the second floor. Okay, just before I do this, make my sort of um, merchant estate. I'm going to make a hard save here, just in case something weird happens with, like, times my and whatnot. We'll life. have a hard save to get back to, in case we sort of shoot ourselves in the foot. Lots of guards. As you will. There's Erlen Treat, the merchant. But first things first, let's do a speed run of the place to uncover as much of the screen as possible here. So we can talk to people. We can stealth things. Okay, so there's nothing on this floor other than one Erlen tree. There's a bunch of guards. Let's try not to aggro him, but other than that, we'll gently question him. Screenings house guests, I must assume that your friends, the friends that I've had Eldeth so excited, must introduce myself. I'm Erlen Tree, one of Eldeth's partners in business. I've come to announce that the company is celebrating the anniversary of Eldeth's stay with us. I would like you to join for the festivities. There should be some interesting surprises. Okay, yeah, we'll be there. Better set place on the third floor. If you go up there, I'll meet you soon after. Uh-huh. No. Second floor is where all that is supposed to be. 
There he is. Yeah, see, the names are in di slightly different fonts. It's very peculiar. Hello, Zorl. Hello. Nice to make the acquaintance of Greetings. such Greetings. You are all new faces. I'm Zorl. You must be Aldous. Childhood friends. Uh, yeah, we've been friends since we were kids. So you're good friends with Debrun as well. Uh, yeah, sure. I f feel like it's one of those test questions right. that we answered wrong. Hold them, Commander Brandelar. I lead the Household Guard. You must be the people Aldous brought back with him. His so-called childhood friends. That likely story might have hoodwinked some of the others, but I've known Aldous since he was a child, and none of you ring any bells. Um, it's because we're all older now. I don't like liars. I'll give you another chance. Perhaps you're suspicious of me, but I'm known Aldous much longer. Uh, all right, you cracked our disguise. We're actually investigators hired to learn as much as possible about Aldous' business person. He seems to think they've gone mad. Glad you've been honest with me to tell the truth. Been somewhat suspicious of my other employers as well. They haven't been themselves, and they seem to have a completely callous outlook on the future of the business. I'd almost have to say that Irland Tree and Zorl aren't who they say they are, or they've had their minds taken over or some other rot. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do because they're my employers. I might be able to turn a blind eye if you were to investigate what they might be doing. If you can find some hard proof that exposes what's been happening, I might be able to do something about the whole mess. What do you say? Um, yeah, we'll work together. I don't necessarily that. trust him either, but what do I think's been faring? You learned anything yet? Um, doing fine. Haven't learned anything unusual yet. Nothing much. Why are you having your anniversary party at a time like this? What? It's not my anniversary. Ah. Perhaps we should go see what this is all about. Go talk to the commander of the guard, in case you haven't met him yet. Right, but we have. Alright, time to snoop a boot. We got a merchant here. Can we, like, trade with him? I've got the best prices this side of Cormier. You're all this childhood friends, aren't you? You know, if I were you, I'd be careful around here. Is there a reason we should? Erland Tree and Zoral have been acting strangely late. I don't know what it is about them, but they don't seem the usual self. Thanks for the information. We're not going to go around telling everyone that we're investigating things. That would be crazy. Best prices this side of you want some whiskey? New to Merchants League matters little. I don't have anything to drink. My masters haven't ordered a new boost to replace your last stock. Kind of thoughtless of them. They've been acting weird for a while now. Mm -hmm. That does seem a bit odd. Uh, again, I don't know if this is thieving or not, so just a little quick save first. Okay. I mean, even just looking seems to result in thievery things. A desk is probably worth, worth investigating. Ooh. What is it this time? A locked desk? Doubly so. Money and three notes. Shalak, as long as Aldith lives, he is a great threat to all of us. He is friends with the mercenaries who have been stirring up so much trouble in the south. If he were to confide fears with them, it would be disastrous. Kill him soon. Shalak, pleases me that you now count Irlandry among your number, but you must kill Aldas Sashenstar. He's a foppish dilettante with no skill in the Dalinta. It confuses me that you have not killed him yet. If you're skilled withered, right back soon when you have killed Aldeth, your friend. Sherlock, I am glad to hear that you were successful in disposing of Zorl. With his identity, you should be able to infiltrate more of your kindred into the Merchant League's estate. Kill Erlen Tree as soon as possible, and then that fop Aldeth, your friend. Okay, yeah, these, these gotta be go doppelgangers. As you will. Seems like the most likely explanation. Mm hmm. Cook. Yes, what have our people been eating, Madam Cook? What? Oh. Or nothing. Alright, so now I'm wondering if I should check out the third floor first or go and report what I have learned. I think we will report what we have learned first. Nothing is more valuable than bad men. We found some documents you find find very interesting. First Elbin and now this. We must tread carefully. For if these documents bear truth, we are then we are potentially in a very dangerous situation. Rumor has it that my anniversary is this very day, but it isn't. But perhaps we can use it to get to the bottom of this. Shall we meet upstairs for a bit? You go ahead and I'll be right behind. I need to consult with Brandelar. Hmm, uh-huh. Yeah, I'm not 100% sold that this is going well. You there! Identify yourselves! What is going on here that deserves such an audience? Explain yourselves, Erland Tree. Why spread false rumors about my anniversary when you know perfectly well it's not this day? Are you sure, Aldith? I was most certainly it was this day. Perhaps, Aldith, your memory has become somewhat adult. You seem to be forgetting and even inventing elements of your past. Take, for example, your childhood friends. A stupid lie, meat. 
Come now, Zoral, we must not be so rude. These primates are about to take the final step to become something much greater than what they were. Before you die, primates, I've been instructed to give you a message from our employer, Rieltar. He wishes to know how much fun it's been matching wits with you. So the documents speak the truth. You foul creatures will answer for what you've done. Brandalar, arrest these fools! Doppelgangers. Called it. I'm, I'm worried about how many there are, and I don't know who to prioritize attacking. I'm going to have most of my people go after this doppelganger. Yes. But I'm right here. I'm going to... Oh, he hasn't aggroed yet. I'm expecting he's about to, though. Pause on pause? No. I want a Frost Zoral to start off with. Uh -huh. I like that. Fireball of these guys? They might all be doppelgangers. Let's assume they are. Yep. Okay, so we have no spellcasters. We all have a bunch of generic doppelgangers, and that's about it. Okay, I can work with this. Let's use the necklace of fireballs. And center it. I'm trying not to hit this guy. Center it over here. Be nice to have a complete pr uh, preview, but we'll do what we can. What is it this time? I think this might be a good time for a chant as well. Uh, I accidentally angered Bandalar. <laughs> Let's, uh, did I make a quick save? Right before talking to him. <laughs> Let's try that again, guys. I need the preview window. I mean, I suppose we could just kill everyone, but no. No fireballs, then. Since there's other innocents around. Fireballing my own group isn't the end of the world, but this is a little less than ideal. My honor. Okay. Everyone attack this one. There we go. Yeah, everyone just start attacking that guy. Um, you can go there. Uh-huh. I'll use a bunch of magic missiles. I mean, this, I think, is probably going to be a relatively easy fight. I probably don't need to worry about the fireball so much. Do chant. And do drop a critter behind these guys. What else we got? Uh, nothing that's actually important. You can just go and yeah, start. Is this a magic club? No, just a regular club. I will do that. I'll pull you back a little bit and then just start flinging rocks what at people. This time? There we go. Some enchantments and just start throwing rocks. We're spreading our damage around a little bit, which is usually non ideal. But, I think this is okay. Oh, that's a bit troublesome. You want something? Get off my priest! Or my, my mage! Uh -huh. We'll switch to the quarterstaff here. How may I be of assistance? Oh, that one's running. Uh, we can ignore the running one then, that's fine. Do that, do that, you can switch back to that. What is it this time? Actually, rather than ignoring him, just magic missile him some more. Oh no! Run! Melee. Go. What is it this time? Yes, it shall be as a wish. Get back over here, you guys. You rang? Should have just, like, not bothered to wait until they were, um, aggroed. Just blindly fireballed the lot, like, right in the back. Although it did get me in some trouble last time. Focus on that one since it hasn't broken yet. You can turn around and... Where's my character? Right there. You can go and hit him and use one more magic missile. Switch your bow because... The pathfinding around here is becoming a little problematic. Let me finish this guy off. And then that guy. And then finally the runner. There we go! Done! And this time we didn't actually fireball the innocent people. 
They got really mad about that, didn't they? Let's thank you for saving my consortium. I will reward all of you greatly for what you've done for me. I hope what I give you now is reward enough. This sword is a family heirloom, but could be useful if you're ever to run into those shape-shifting creatures again. Knowing if... Know that if ever you're in trouble, I you can come to my estate. That might come in handy. What, it's not identified? Let's use a scroll on this one. Condor, plus one. First glance, the sword appears to be much like any other. In the presence of any shape-shifting creatures, however, the blade becomes warm as the power stirs. Its main stake was the original owner of the weapon, and his tail, though mostly long forgotten, was wrought with treachery and deceit. Rumor persists that he paid a fearsome price for this blade, but with it, he revealed the tread into those he sought, that sought to betray him. Their names and crimes, however, are long since lost to history. So it's a plus one bastard sword that is plus three versus shapeshifters. Well, currently, we use a regular plus one bastard sword, so this is a direct upgrade. I don't know how many other shapeshifters we're going to face. Although, I was getting the sense that perhaps some of the Iron Thrones... Wow, 5,000 XP for completing that. Not to mention 420 per kill of doppelgangers. Quite a bit of XP. Oh, I was expecting there to be like some human meat or something on the table. Oh, well. All right, we're going to go ahead and put a cut in here. Uh, clearing out that little side quest is actually yeah. quite handy. Uh, anything else we can ask Wait. you guys about? All right, should have your reward if he hasn't given it to you already. Yeah, he did. All right, rebuild. That's fine. And we still have these random merchants. So not all of these are evil, apparently. Okay. All right, let's blow this pop stand. And next episode, we will continue looking for the Temple of Timora. Thanks for watching, folks. See you next time.